Today, we're going to do something just a little bit different. Uh, everything about mixing isn't EQ and compressors and plugins. Sometimes just getting a workflow going so that it enhances your creativity and doesn't interfere with it is a good thing. Uh, a friend of mine, a close friend of mine, Todd Chapman, sent me this um, feature in OS 10. Uh, I'm using 10.6.8 on this particular computer. I don't know how far back it goes, but um, check it and see. Basically what we can do is there's certain functions that you do a lot and you need a, a, a for me, I hate to use three hands and two keys and a foot to hold 18 different keys down to get something going. But you can, do, you can program this with just one key. Now, on my keyboard, I've got F16, 17, 18, 19 available. So what you do, well, first let me show you how it works, then we'll show you how to get it. In Pro Tools, when you want to save, you have to go under the File menu, you have to go Save As, and then you hit that. Well, if you notice right now, there's a little F19 right here. Uh, I added that with this particular feature in OS 10. All I gotta do is, is just hit F19, blammo, there's my, there's my screen. Now, to keep your workflow going, sometimes you don't wanna um, go to the top of the menu here and, and you know scroll down and get something. So this allows you to, to take one key or as many keys as you want. I like one key and turn those into uh, what we call a quick key, that's what I call them. Now, I've programmed um, F16, 17, 18, 19 is, is one hit quick keys. They're up here in the top right of my keyboard. Now, now you don't want to use a key that's already dedicated to something. So it has to be a, a combination or a key that's different. Now, in Pro Tools, when, when you want to save, you have to go save as and, and then it comes up. If you'll notice, see that see right there, it says F19. Well, I programmed that. So all I got to do is hit F19 right here. Blam. And then on the screen, I've got, I've got my, uh, my save. Another key I've got programmed is um, I, um, I use clip gain a lot, but sometimes I want to view the clip gain, and there's no quick key for that inside Pro Tools. So that toggles my view, clip gain off and on. Uh, this key allows me, F17 allows me to see my system usage. I, I work at the max all the time, so I'm, I, I'm needing to see that. And then, and then sometimes I, I, I need to hide my uh, Pro Tools sometimes, so that allows me to do that. Now, what you want to do is you want to go to, um, you want to open up your, your, your system preferences, go over here to keyboard, then under keyboard, keyboard shortcuts, and then application shortcuts. Now you'll see I've already programmed these four keys. Let me nuke one real quick. Let's nuke uh, system usage. Okay. Now, what you do, if you want to program system usage, remember, it has to be the exact letters as, as the original. So let's go back and, and let me show you what I'm talking about. Now, if we want to program system usage, uh, you see right here it says system usage, there's nothing. Now, it's got to be the same capitals, it's got to be identical. We've got to type everything. If it's dots, you got to type everything identical. So, I got my hide key. So, now we, we hit plus. Now, at the top, you select your application. Now, this will work with any application in Pro Tools. See, I've selected Pro Tools, but it, it, it'll work with anything. So, you select Pro Tools. The menu title, capital S, S Y S T E M space U S A G E. So now we come over here, we'll put, we click F17, you see it appears right here, add. Okay, now when we go back to Pro Tools, under system usage, we see F17, I hit F17. There's my system usage. The toggle is off and on. Pretty simple, huh? Uh, you can use that for any, any of the applications that show up in the application folder there under the uh, system usage. I mean, under the, uh, at the top of that particular window. I hope this improves your workflow. I hope this gets you a lot more efficient and keeps you 
in that zone, you know, when you when you, when you're in that zone where you just don't want to come out of and think about moving around Pro Tools, this this should help you a lot. And other programs too. It'll work with Logic. It'll work with everything. All right. Next week.